Pine Grove Preserve is in Sussex County. It's in the coastal plain of southeastern Virginia. And it is the iconic pine savanna setting for the northern range of the longleaf pine ecosystem. The coastal plain of North America is a hot spot of biodiversity, particularly plant biodiversity. There are some 920 plant species that are found in that ecosystem and nowhere else in the world. You know, being out in the field of a place like Piney Grove is always such a, a great experience. When we have volunteers come out who are seeing Piney Grove for the first time, being in a pine savanna for the first time, collecting seeds and hearing about the ecology of the system for the first time, it's just, it's just a thrill to see folks respond and it's really the, the ground cover, the, the vegetation that drives the biodiversity. Historically, we go back 500, 1,000 years ago, there was fire everywhere across the landscape. And that frequent fire kept the canopy open, kept the trees that are natural to the system, um, prevented them from growing up into the canopy and shading the forest floor. We're opening the canopy up and then we're maintaining that open structure using fire. We're really farming for light. And when we do that, we see what's there. And when we identify biodiversity gaps, plants that we expect to be that are, that are not there, that's where we need to do ground cover restoration. In those situations, we will take seed that we've collected and put that seed out on the ground. So we play the role of being the this agent of dispersal. Uh, in other situations, we'll collect that seed, we'll grow seedlings at a nursery, and then outplant them onto our preserve other places, and then those become the seed sources for the, for the next generation of ground cover. So volunteers, really important part of what we're doing with ground cover restoration, and that's how we're rebuilding this forest, one seedling at a time. We have species like bunch grasses, and they are sort of the, the, the matrix, if you will, sort of the architecture for the system. We've been focusing on restoring two species to the system. One is a, a bunch grass called uh, little blue stem, and another is a, a bean or a, a legume, uh, and that is Lespedeza capitata. Grasses are really important for particularly fire spread. Legumes are not really fire carriers, however, they provide seed, produce seed that's really important for wildlife. It's pretty remarkable that there are, I think it's over three million people that are within 60 miles of Piney Grove. I think there's a real desire in those communities to connect with authentic nature. And so when we're talking about rebuilding this forest, a seedling at a time, we're doing that in places where we can hold on the fire for a long time. So if you were to take a step back and look at the, the main sort of bodies of work that we're involved with at Piney Grove, one is fire, another one is tree planting, another is ground cover restoration, another is maintaining the, the cavities that the red cockaded woodpecker birds use, another is invasive species management, and then maintaining our trails and basically just keeping an eye on, on Piney Grove. And for each of those areas of activity, uh, we have used volunteers, work with volunteers, and there's so much more volunteers can do.